UN has no teeth. Um, they can get teeth if um, strong me member states decide to give them teeth. Uh, in the case of Syria, they decided not to do so um, and decided even quite the opposite, uh, to actually undermine the UN as much as possible. And the meeting today in Moscow is the proof the UN was not even invited. The irony of this is that we have a UN envoy in Syria who has been calling for peace talks in last February and is evident that he didn't know that this was being planned in Moscow. So you see here the big disconnection between sort of real politics that is happening at this level and UN which is stuck in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a reality that is not connected anymore. Um, it's, it's quite, uh, it's actually quite dramatic to see this change today because it's, to me, it's really a sign that both the US um, and the UN as a multilateral forum um, are not at the center of peacemaking in the Middle East, at least in the Middle East, and we know also in other areas. But in the Middle East, clearly, uh, that primacy is not there anymore. So we're going to see a complete different environment, political environment, in the Middle East from now on.